there! I'm Nature Hannah. I'm here at Sanger Park. I will give you a little look about of Sanger Park, starting over here. This is Sanger Park in Sanger, California. It's in the Central Valley. Very hot in the summer, uh, kind of damp and mild in the winter. Nothing like Michigan, which is where I'm from. We're here to look at sycamore trees, and this whole strand of trees right here are sycamore trees. Uh, I'm doing a dendrology class project on the sycamore, and you might see these where you are, because they range pretty much everywhere, all the way up to the Arctic Circle even. So um, what's really cool about this tree, my personal favorite thing about it is its skin. Um, a lot of a lot of kids like to peel the bark off of these, and I used to get mad and be like, no, don't do that to the tree, it allows infection. But with a sycamore tree, like this one, uh, it sheds every single year. So, I mean, you still don't want to go peeling the bark off of things, but uh, it's cool because it sheds every year, and each year it gets a little bit harder and more coarse. And uh, this, this tree's pretty young, it still has the little, the, um, <sighs> You can see that it's like scales and stuff like that. An older tree, if we were to run over to this tree, this tree has older. This is this is pretty old. It almost looks like an oak tree. Um, it doesn't have that kind of rounded, smooth, very cool artsy flavor, but it does have this kind of skin, which is really cool too. Very tiny, small, little rounded edges and shapes and stuff, and that's pretty cool. So, this tree, this is called a sycamore, and I, I'm probably going to butcher it, but I still want to try. It's always good to try. Always give something a try. Um, it's called Planus racemosa, I believe. Alright, and uh, this one, like I said, is pretty old. Up here, you've got uh, it branches out, and it has these little balls on it, and these are kind of different than a sweet gum tree. Uh, usually you'll either see a sweet gum or a sycamore with these kind of balls on it. Now, a sweet gum, the balls are kind of like maces. They're like sharp and pointy, and they look like they could hurt someone if you threw them at them, and I like to do that in my spare time. But these ones, these are fluffy. They are like this. Very fluffy, and when the wind blows, it's kind of like a dandelion, they fly off and start planting new plants. And these plant, these um, these trees, they like wetland. They like to hang out in like riverbeds, uh, places where they're gonna get a lot of moisture. And they're deciduous, which means their leaves fall off every single year, as you can see. The only leaves up there are the dead ones. And uh, they, they are awesome for shade, and that's why you'll find a lot of them in California because they like to uh, create shade, and people like to have them for shade. And one of the cool things about having shade, especially in California where the humidity is low, is they create cool areas around the rivers, and that helps the animals and stuff that go to the river to get water, gives them a nice cool place to, to uh, hang out and stay alive in the summer, which gets very hot here in Central Valley, California. So uh, that is the, a sycamore tree in short, and hopefully you can find one near you and touch it and be like, yay, it's a sycamore tree. And yeah, okay, bye.